the relationship becomes personal. It's that like, were you guys on like a handshake deal? Were you giving them a percentage of your, of your money? Like, like how, how was that? Sean? Yeah. And, and like, was, or, or was it really just, you know, like a, a friendship? It was, I mean, it was more than a friendship. It was family. It was, it was all on a handshake. Yeah. Nothing. I never, yeah. Sean never had anything on paper and he, and that was something you know, he, he was trusting in people to sometimes to a fault. Like he got, he got screwed over a few times. I don't want to name any names, but there was guys <laughs> he did put in full, full camps with and, and, you know, fought UFC fights and, you know, it'd be like, Hey, take you out for a beer sometime kind of thing. Like it, yeah. It like, I watched that guy get his heart broken by so many fighters, man. But, uh, well, here, that, that's the poacher aspect. Like, you're looking at the gym jumpers, and you're expecting them to be loyal to you when and they couldn't not, be loyal they, to they their were, first coach. Yeah. yeah. yeah you know, I think was, you hate to say it, like, well, Sean was been around so many blocks to where he probably saw it coming, but he, he was almost like the guy that was a, addicted to just being a coach, and yeah. that's who 100%. he was. 100%. Yeah, he was, uh, that's definitely, yeah, he, he ate, slept and breathed it. The only time off would like, and you know, which led to his probably, probably was one of the reasons for his, like, he was so, he, and like, I'm talking every fighter that he coached, he was so emotionally invested that he was just a ball of stress all the time. So as soon as the fight was over, he was going wild. Like it was going to be the rest of the weekend until he got (laughs) back to the gym on Monday was going to be like let's see how hard we can push this let's party see. time yeah it well, was well, yeah it was like he he would be yeah he i mean it's almost like i i get like especially for as, as a fighter you know this it's when that fight that stress reliever of that fight is over i mean you, you haven't been doing anything for two months you just let it all go but that's one person it'd be hard to do that day in and I mean like every weekend you have that stress ball I'd be so tough because I mean I know it for my it was my stress level for me but it was it was over after that then you have another month and then it starts but I mean if he was doing that all the time that'd be so tough tough on your body man he was like an overlapping it'd be like doing overlapping training camps you'd get one guy and you'd have like you'd have to get he'd have so he would just do it in that weekend it was like fight Saturday night Go as hard like, and then drink until Sunday night. Like drink, drink like, and then, and then start all over again. And like, yeah, I feel bad. For, you know, in hindsight, I'm saying all this stuff in hindsight, right? Like the the writing was on the wall, and we kind of kind of should have spotted it earlier, and maybe it'd still be around if we would have. Uh, he was know, but, burning the candle at both ends for sure. Yeah, but that's he, what I mean, that's who he was. That's who he was, and uh, you know, I know for a fact he he's. I mean, he he was he was happy doing it. 